Okay, today is March 22nd, 2018, and uh, right now we are uh, looking at the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that that uh, former gale force system has been completely squashed and isolated. Uh, all of the moisture moving into the Southern and Central California area has all been derived pretty much from this tropical flow moving way down from the uh, tropics. Now, earlier today, last night and this morning, there was a huge area of thunderstorms in this area right here, we're going to take a look at that, but this has been all blown apart, superheated with microwave or laser, and we can see the circular uh, area here where those uh, where that uh, uh, that uh, pressure wave has uh, completely evaporated the uh, thunderstorm development. Let's go ahead and take a look, take a quick look at this here in the uh, the infrared loop. We can see uh, right here is where that happened. There was a huge area of red, uh, deep. Uh, thunderstorms, uh, deep red, and so uh, those were superheated. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop and we can get a better idea of what's happening here. Basically we had an area like this over here, all red, right here, and that was superheated because all this moisture is flowing right towards California. So those were neutralized as to not be uh, as to not get trapped in this flow and move right in towards California and dump more rain. So let's look at this now in the uh, infrared loop. And we can see the remnants of that event right in here. Right here we can see some activity. That might be a secondary a targeted area right there. You can see a pressure wave moving out to the north right there. And so what happens is that these thunderstorms are targeted with uh, laser-based or satellite-based laser or microwave and that uh, superheats the water vapor in the thunderstorm, kills the uh, convective process and we end, up, we end up with a, uh, a pressure wave, which is visible on the satellite maps. And that's what we're seeing here. And the thunderstorm loses all of its uh, punch because there's no convection. The water vapor is superheated. The convection is, is stopped. And we see the color change here in the infrared map. So this is valuable evidence. Uh, we'll see much better evidence of this as the uh, spring rolls around and we get into the hurricane season. And we're going to keep an eye on this area here because this is starting to redevelop. All right, let's look at the, uh, this is the visible light map. And we can see some activity right down this area. Right up here and then right, right here. You can see a pressure wave right there. Semicircle sort of moving out to the northeast. Right there. And uh, you won't see this on the uh, nightly news. They don't uh, show these satellite maps. They don't explain much of anything about the weather. Uh, we get basically a cartoon version of the weather. And there's a reason for that. Uh, the, uh, the global fake news media is, is promoting a phony uh, global warming narrative which uh, involves uh, taxation, carbon taxes, and all that. Totally fraudulent uh, scheme should be uh, investigated. Of course, we've got a completely corrupted FBI, as we're learning now. And we're going to see a lot of people here in the near future being indicted and uh, going to trial and probably going to jail. Uh, if anybody remembers the days of Watergate back in the early 70s, it took... About two years for all of that to unwind and get to the bottom of the corruption. And what we're seeing here today is far worse. Uh, we have an FBI that should be going after what's going on here. And instead, uh, you know, people are chasing their tails looking for, uh, you know, the Easter Bunny. Uh, and and, and uh, it's just, just crazy. You know, there, there's been no Russian interference whatsoever in our elections. In fact, 
the people that are guilty of, of uh, interfering with the elections are the people that are pointing the fingers. And that will be proven out. Has nothing to do with politics, really, when you get into the legal matters. Uh, here we're looking at the infrared map. We can see the, the residual at the tail of this moving through. By the end of today, we're going to start to see some clearing. Uh, the rain totals here in the foothills were uh, nothing. Uh, basically, you know, 20% of what was forecast. Here we're seeing the uh, surface analysis map. We can see uh, high pressure being installed right out here. And we've got 1,020 millibar right here. High pressure, and we have these cold fronts moving through with a trough shown right there. So we may get a little bit more weather as the day progresses, but it's not going to be anything close to what they forecasted. Uh, so in the foothills, it, it ranges anywhere from one and a quarter inches up to about two inches, a little over two inches of rain. Uh, we were hearing anywhere from six to eight, maybe 10 inches. Uh, none of that has panned out. All right, so we're just going to leave it right here and uh, take a look at that again. This is where the thunderstorms were superheated to prevent them from getting caught up in this uh, northbound uh, tropical uh, pineapple express flow right into California. So we can't have too much rain in California, but they're stopping it. We can see the, uh, the blast patterns are up here as well. Some of these thunderstorms are being targeted as they move up towards uh, the uh, U.S. Okay, that's it.